Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw an isosceles trapezoid given its large base B1 and its shorter base B2 and its height H, as can be seen here on the screen. So the first step we are going to do is at the bottom of the screen we are going to draw a horizontal line and we are going to mark a point A on one side of the horizontal line, as can be seen here. So the next step setting our compass to the length of the given base B1 we are going to transport this base onto the horizontal line setting our compass on point A we will scribe an arc cutting the horizontal line at a new point B and AB will be the length of base 1 So the next step, we are going to work out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. So setting our compass to a radius slightly longer than half, we are going to scribe an arc to the left, as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on point B, we are going to scribe another arc until it cuts our previously drawn arc, as shown here. And now, setting our compass to a longer radius, we're going to scribe another arc to the right, as shown here. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on point A, we'll scribe an arc to the right, cutting our previously drawn arc, as shown here. So now we're going to draw a vertical line through these to intersections, elongating it until the horizontal baseline, as shown here. So the next step is setting our compass to the length of the given height, h. We are going to transport this height onto the previously drawn vertical line. So setting our compass on the midpoint of the base, we scribe an arc until it cuts the previously drawn vertical line. This is the height of our trapezoid. The next step we are going to do is to draw a parallel line to the base through the given height which we've just drawn, as can be seen here. And we elongate it on both sides. So now we have to transport the shorter base B onto this line. To do this, first of all, we have to work out the perpendicular bisector of the base B2, because we're going to transport half. So, setting our compass on one end of B2 and a radius slightly longer than half, we're going to scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius set on the other side, we're going to draw another semicircle which cuts the previous drawn arc at two points. shown here and now we're going to draw a vertical line through these two intersections this will divide our second base into two equal parts and we will call the M midpoint so now setting our compass to the radius of half the base two, we're going to transport this onto our previously drawn horizontal base. Okay, and we scribe an arc on both sides. This will be vertex D and vertex C of the trapezoid that we want to draw. 
So finally, with a thicker line, we will join A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. And we'll have completed our isosceles trapezoid. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next one, thank you.